everybody, Dana Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship, along K. Toyonaga's route. On Chapter 2, I'll give you a reward. I'm a little worried about what kind of reward he wants to give us. Let's check that out. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Huh. <sighs> I never imagined K. would want to make me his personal stylist. Was he actually serious about it, or was he just joking with me? Would my company even let him monopolize my schedule like that in the first place? If we paid them enough, I guess. Just as I was wondering about all this, my phone started to ring. Hello? Hey, Dorelli, how's my favorite stylist? I'm doing good, thanks. The person calling was a good friend who had helped me since I started working here. You would never guess he was a married man with kids the way he spoke. Guess what? There was a big jaw with your name on it. Really? I knew what he was going to say before he opened his mouth. Kay, Toyonaga wants you to be his personal stylist. What do you want to do? We could still refuse it if you aren't interested. Uh, Is it really? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Should I tell him no? Um, I'll do it. This could be my big break. Great, wonderful. I'll give him the go-ahead. Thank you. Oh yeah, watch out for Kay, by the way. And make sure he doesn't take advantage of you and eat you up. I'll fill you in on the schedule later. Bye. Bye, and thanks. I hung up the phone with mixed feelings. Kay's decision to pick me was probably not from my fashion sense and experience. He just wanted to tease me, no doubt. Still, I couldn't pass up this amazing opportunity. Later that day, I found Kay's schedule through a message from work. So the next day, I headed straight for his dressing room to start my new role. Good morning. When I opened the door and stepped inside, he was nowhere to be found. That was a relief since it meant I had come earlier than him and wasn't late. Click. What? You beat me to work? I figured you would be late for sure. Well, I thought it would be bad to be late on my first day working for you. And don't kid yourself. You just wanted to see me as soon as you could, didn't you? I... maybe... You see? All girls dream about working with someone as amazing as me. Ah, oh, someone's a little narcissistic here. I'll even give you a kiss right now for being so honest. Kay brought his hand to my chin and held it in place. No! I pushed him away with all my might. What the hell? Last time you wanted it so bad you practically begged for it. Um, no, you pushed me up against the wall and forced the kiss on me. <sighs> Let's get this straight. Nothing like that will ever happen again. Kay's brow wrinkled with displeasure. What did you say? I'm your stylist, that's it. I will not be involved in a relationship with you or any other client of mine. He looked at me like I had lost my mind. Do I have to remind you who I am? I'm Kay Toyonaga. Girls all over the world will line up just to spend a night with me. Don't clump me together with those kind of women. Hmm. He cast a pair of very amused eyes down at me. How long until you join them, I wonder? We don't have time for this. Hurry up and change already. Hold on a second. There's somewhere I have to take you first. Where exactly? Just follow me. Come on. I don't trust you. They really don't go. W wait. <sighs> when I finally got back to the dressing room, I sighed alone in the empty room. Kay had taken me to a meeting about the next shoot he was doing. He had introduced me to everyone there as his personal stylist. However, they all stared and looked at me like they had seen something incredible. Was it because a no-name stylist like me was working with someone as famous as Kay? I had left the meeting early, but Kay stayed behind to talk to his manager. Click. The door opened. I figured that it might be him coming back. That meeting must have taken a while, Kay. But the man who walked in wasn't Kay at all. So? Oh, you're... So, what are you doing here? I came to talk to Kay. Why are you here? Well, you see, I hadn't done anything wrong, but for some reason it felt embarrassing to tell him. I was assigned to be Kay's personal stylist. You were? Really? Yeah, that's why I'll be accompanying him wherever he goes now. I wasn't expecting the next words that came out of his mouth one bit. You should quit and walk away from this right now. That bad, huh? Huh? I didn't even know what to say to that. W what do you mean? You need to quit. This isn't good for you at all. What? 
Surely that had to be a mistake. Still, it didn't sound like he was joking around. You of all people know how famous he is. If anything, working with him should be a huge boost to my resume. This isn't about that. Then what? So looked back at me with a blank and tired expression. Why can't I date you, So? Do you really want to know? If I were you, I would just leave right now without hearing anything more. Ugh. I had no idea what was going on. This all seemed so confusing that I didn't know what to say. Tell me, I want to know. I've already accepted the job. I can't just walk away without knowing why. So inhaled slowly and let out a big sigh before looking straight at me. You already know that he came onto the female staff before, right? I nodded. Well, he's dated a stylist like you before. And before that, it was a makeup artist. Anyone he's interested in, he brings in and gets them assigned to him. I see. From what he was saying, I deducted that Kay was interested in me. But how does that link with it being bad for my career? What, does he totally ruin their careers when he dumps them? You can't see? Anyone he likes, he makes a part of his personal staff. Being assigned to him only proves that you're his toy and nothing more. Ugh. To make it worse, there are people in this industry who will say you just use your body to get the job. I never thought about it that way before. Being a no-name stylist, I suppose it was odd for me to work with a high-profile actor. It made sense that people might start rumors about me. I doubt he hired you because of how talented you are. Hey! It's a bit hard for me to say this to your face, but... You must be his type. He's just going to play with you until he gets tired. I... The truth finally sunk in. He didn't care about how hard I tried at my job at all. So, I will get out of it as soon as you can. He never holds on to a woman for very long. You're just going to get yourself hurt. Uh, what So was telling me was probably right. Kay didn't care about me as a stylist or even as a person. Working for him would end up damaging to my career if nothing else. Thank you for warning me. But I can't quit a job when I already said I would do it. Even if people spread rumors about you. You might be fine until he gets rid of you, but what then? It's okay. I'm not going to get involved with him. I won't let it come to that. You don't believe me? He stared into my eyes as if he had more to say. Click. And then the door to the dressing room swung open. So? Kay walked in. What are you doing in my room? I wanted to talk to you about something. Why? If you have something to say, I told you to tell my manager or leave a message. Is that any way to talk to your brother? Go on, get out. I don't want to see your face. Fine. So left the room in silence. It was weird to imagine needing a manager to communicate between two brothers. I never realized it before, but their relationship seemed to be pretty sour. How could you not realize that at first sight? Hey, you. Y yes What did you talk about? Um... I wondered if it was right to tell him. Oh, uh, we talked about nothing, really. Liar. You have to do better than that. Um, for example, how about I got the wrong train and rode a half an hour in the wrong direction? <laughs> you moron. People would notice right away. It hurt to be called names, but at least he had bought my story. Shouldn't you get changed soon? You don't have long until the shooting starts, if you don't hurry. Oh, I don't need you to nag me. Hurry up and get my outfit. H here I snatched up his clothes and bought them to him. But just then... Whoops. The cup flew out of his hands, spilling and staining the outfit. Ah! Oh no! Oh, don't try to blame that on me. This was a real disaster. Shooting would start any minute, and Kay just ruined the outfit. Get moving and bring something else pronto, or I'll be late because of you. Kay wore a sinister smile as he shouted at me. I had to do something quick. I'll go find some other clothes. I want to yell at him, though, but oh well. I'll go get you another set of clothes right away. Even if you go now, you won't be in time for the shooting. But I have to hurry. Every second we're late is another second the shooting gets pushed back. I need to tell the director you're going to be late, too. I rushed toward the door to leave. Hold on a second. Kay smiled at me maliciously, I folded his arms together. How about this? I'll go talk the staff into pushing back the shooting a little bit. 
But if you want me to, you have to listen to everything I say. No, I think we'll go with my plan. Huh? He slowly stepped forward, trying to intimidate me. The people I work for have a lot of influence, you know. If I need some extra time, I'll get it if I ask nicely. <sighs> it was true that his office had a considerable amount of influence. If he told them he was late, they would forgive him without asking any questions. However, was it really safe for me to go along with it? What if he tried to pull something on me like he did the other day? What do you say? He smiled, waiting to hear my answer. Did I even have a choice? Thank you for the offer, but I have to refuse. Good girl, Darilly. What? I'm only your stylist. There'll be no relationship between us, period. Wait right here. I'll bring you a new set of clothes as soon as I can. Good for you, Darilly. Thank you. I ran out of the room in haste, more escaping from Kay than in search of clothes. You are more stubborn than I thought. This will be fun. We'll see just how long that sassy attitude of yours lasts. Yes, we shall see. I rushed to the studio to apologize and let everyone know we would be late. Then I dashed to a bunch of rental stores in the area to scavenge a new wardrobe. If we don't have extra clothes at the studio, I really would have thought we'd have a lot of things stored there. Kay, I'm back. Sorry it took so long. I've got your new outfit, so hurry and try it on. His response was not anything I imagined to hear. You moron. I already finished shooting a while ago. Huh? My manager has a series of backup clothes just for emergencies like this. Oh, I wore that instead. My schedule is too packed to let your mistakes slow me down. You're kidding! My hands gripped and trembled, holding the clothes I have frantically rushed to find. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Because he's a jerk! You're the one who ran off without listening to me. I said you should listen to everything I had to say, but you ran off anyway. I was going to tell you, but no. <sighs> I had completely misunderstood what he was trying to say earlier. No, I don't think so. I think he would have still made you do something embarrassing. I thought he had been trying to control me, but this time that wasn't the case. That's what he says, but you can't trust this guy. Even so, I was sure he must have an alternative motive or something. Are you sure you're even cut out for this? I'm not some little-time actor like you're used to working with. My time is gold. I can't waste time on stupid mistakes like that. Pound that into your tiny head. Ugh. It hurt being told all the work I had been doing until now was meaningless. Still, it was partially my fault for screwing up, at least this time. No, it wasn't. He was the one who spilled the coffee, and he was the one who had the extra clothes, and didn't tell me before I ran out. I had to mess with me instead. I swallowed my pride, I bowed my head to apologize. I'm sorry, though I'm not really. I won't repeat another mistake like that ever again. Apologizing for my failure as a stylist was the only thing I could do. We'll see about that. His eyes glared at me, as if waiting eagerly for me to screw up again. Work got easier after memorizing his schedule, but it wasn't without problems. What the heck is this? These clothes look hideous. I'm not wearing anything this ugly. But, but, you said you liked it when we looked at the catalog during the meeting. What they show in the catalog and what you actually get are always different. And you call yourself a stylist? Take these ugly-ass clothes back. Kay smirked, as if enjoying the trouble he was causing for me. I knew he was doing everything he could to make my life miserable and break me, but I vowed never to let him. I'm sorry, I'll go get some clothes more to your liking. I left the dressing room to begin my search for more clothes. As I was leaving the studio, his manager called out and stopped me. Hey, Darilly, is this interview over? No, not yet. Kay wasn't pleased with the outfit I made for him. I'm on my way to find something else. Well, hurry up. After this, he has a TV recording and a radio interview. And later than we already are, it's going to cause problems for everybody. Yes, I understand. You know how hard this depression has been on sales, don't you? If we have to cancel a magazine shoot, they won't sell out and someone might lose their job. I understand. I'll be back as fast as I can. I rushed off to find another outfit that Kay would hopefully like better this time. What is this? Are you trying to screw with me? Sorry, what part of it don't you like? This is the same brand that So wore in that magazine interview the other day. Really? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Why am I supposed to pay attention to So? I'm not his stylist. Normally, 
I wouldn't make such a simple mistake. But I was so rushed I didn't even notice. That's a mistake, really? What's the big deal? It's just the same brand. As long as it's not the actual same outfit, what's the big deal? Is it knowing that your job? No, I don't think so. That's why you're my personal stylist. You're paid to know these things. I'm sorry. I clamped my eyes shut and bowed in shame. Knock, knock. Yes, who is it? Is Kay ready yet? The people here for the interview are getting impatient. Um, just a moment. There was nothing for Kay to change into, and I had no backup plan either. It was my fault the interview was late, and Kay's schedule was now in shambles. There was nothing else I could do. I had promised myself to never stoop this low, but this was an emergency. If I didn't do it, everyone including his manager and the staff would be mad at me. What if I... Did what? What if I listen to whatever you say? Why don't I ask him about the backup wardrobe he's supposed to always have with him? Would you like to wear that outfit for me? The one you don't like? Oh. Kay glanced at me, his eyes sparkling with delight. So you'll do whatever I say? Oh, come on, this was his plan from the beginning, can't you tell? I could only hope that his request would be something reasonable. But only if you wear the outfit. Well then. Kay held my jaw and stared deeply into my eyes. Kiss me like you love me, wild and full of passion. Did I really have a choice? Fine, I'll do it. If I must. Sacrifices must be made for fashion. Fine. I was extremely reluctant to kiss one of my clients, but right now, I just didn't have any other choice. Mm. I closed my eyes, gathering my courage and leaned in. Our lips met, pressing tightly together. His tongue squirmed between my lips and into my mouth. It was a kiss on a much different level than our first. It made my head tingle and my chest squeeze tight. My heart pounded as I gasped for air. The kiss was so wild, it made my legs buckle and my thoughts scatter into oblivion. Mm. I turned my head to escape his kiss, but that only made him kiss me harder. At this rate, my emotions would run wild and I'd lose control. But then... Knock, knock. Someone came pounding on the door. Do really... How much longer is it going to take in here? One of the staff members was shouting from the other side of the door. What crappy timing. They always come right at the good part. It's your fault for starting things when you know your time is short. Kate grumbled and broke away from me. We'll save the rest for when I get back. Don't you leave this room. He changed into the clothes and left me alone in the dressing room. You only asked for one kiss, you got it. Deal's over. My heart was still pounding so loud that it drummed in my ears. I had a pretty good idea what he wanted to do to me when he came back. Run away! Click. It was one hour later when the door opened, and he walked back in. Oh, you didn't run, I see. You know what's going to happen now, right? I... I never run away! He smiled and stood tall, like I was some fallen prey. You can't run away. Not from me. Kay lunged forward and pressed against me, stealing another kiss from my lips. Mm? He sucked and licked my lips, like gorging himself with food. It was so intense that my vision spun and made it impossible to think. Mm? Aren't you going to be late for the next shoot? I'm just telling my manager the interview went long. Kay ran his lips down my neck. But, but someone might come in if we do it here. Only if you can't keep your voice down. Are there no locks on the door? Why does nobody ever lock the doors on these things? And it's only happened like twice in the whole game. But I... Quiet. You're my little toy. He whispered into my ear while peeling clothes off my body. <sighs> Being stripped naked here of all places was more shameful than anything I felt before. Toys are for playing with. Your only job is to make me happy. He touched all around my body, but I couldn't even move a muscle. That's right. You're mine. Every last piece of you. His eyes glistened from the shining light above, capturing and enslaving my gaze. That day, I joined bodies with Kay, but by no choice of my own. Well, it was sort of a choice of your own because you could have said no, you could have run away, but nope, you stayed there and let him do it. So you can't really say it was by no choice of your own. And I could have quit, but I didn't. I chose to stay on with this job. Gotta deal with your own choices. Alright, well, Chapter 3 will be working as an actor. So hope to see you there or in some of my other videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support.
Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.